There's a bizarre missing dog case on the peninsula that has a Palo Alto woman distraught and police scratching their heads. The woman says she handed over her purebred German Shepherd to a trainer and got back a different dog instead. NBC Bay Area investigative reporter Hilda Gutierrez joins us now with the story. Hilda. Yes, Carolina Buruchilari was leaving the country for a few days and thought that would be a good opportunity to get her dog trained professionally until she received a panic call from her son saying that their dog was never returned. Because it's like a son that disappeared and you don't know where, if he's, he's dead, I don't know where his body is. Or if he's alive, where is he? Maybe he's with another person. They sold the, I don't know what happened to him. Carolina is talking about her seven-year-old German Shepherd, Scott. She says she last saw him in mid-December when a dog trainer she hired through the website Thumbtack picked him up for a two-week board in training at her house while Carolina was in Argentina. Did you get to meet her in person and what impression did you get of her? No, it was okay. Like in the photos, in Thumbtack was the same person. Uh, she was very sweet. But Carolina says Scott was not returned to her Palo Alto home on the final day and that the dog trainer told her she had a family emergency. She did show up two days later when Carolina was not home, but with a different German Shepherd. And she came here with another dog. So my older son called me and, and told me, Mom, this is not a Scott. This, this dog is totally different. Uh, he's uh, very violent with us, so he didn't recognize my sons. And so they took a picture for the new dog. Carolina says the dog trainer left with the replacement dog and dropped this tracking tag that was originally on Scott's collar on her front lawn. And she never called me back. I, I wrote several messages and she never answered me. So uh, on January the, the next day, I called the police from Argentina and my husband made the, the report to the police. Carolina also contacted Thumbtack and says they refunded her $2,700. Thumbtack told us that they performed background checks through a third-party provider and that as soon as they were made aware of the situation, they took action against the service provider and removed them from their Thumbtack platform. She also posted to social media. And that's when Carolina says the dog trainer finally texted back. In the text she showed us, the dog walker claimed she left Scott with a dog sitter while she handled her family emergency and that Scott got away. There's no return to facilitate. The dog is most definitely dead. Broke through a window screen in the middle of the night, found blood streaks and clumps of the dog's fur, as well as a part of a paw or an arm, the text read. Did you ask her anything about why did you bring another dog? Why yes, did you... she told me that she didn't know that was another dog, that this, that, that this man gave her another dog. The text messages also state that the dog sitter is coordinating with police. Palo Alto Police Department confirmed that the case remains under active investigation as a grand theft of a dog. They also called the case very interesting. We reached out to the dog trainer with phone calls and texts but have not heard back from her. We'll continue to look into this story and bring you any updates, including whether anyone is ever charged with a crime. Hilda Gutierrez, NBC Bay Area News.